Miguel Alvarado and Devin Miller here for the CRP. It is Saturday, March 16th, the afternoon. The fights are going on in London. The UFC's card about halfway done. We're going to recap the preliminary fights here with Devin. Devin, how you doing? Doing good, man. Uh, just making our way through this card. Yep, uh, so far, uh, so good. We got uh, the card opener, so Mike Grundy and Nod Narimani. Uh, Square off, Narimani going down the punches towards the end of the second round. What can you tell us about this one? Well, this was uh, Grundy's debut. He pulls off a win. He's on a nine-tie win streak now, 12-1 and one overall, 32 years old. Gets a second round stoppage. It was pretty impressive. And when we got uh, uh, Narimani, he's, uh, he's, after this fight, he's uh, fallen to 12-3 and three in his overall career. This was his uh, third fight inside the octagon. He came in with a 2-0 and USC record and drops this drops this loss. But he and he's 31 years old, so uh, it, it was pretty impressive debut for Gundy. Yeah, Grundy beating the guy who already takes you to win, wins in the UFC. Not a bad way to start things off. Moving right along, we had a little bit of a, a contentious matchup between Molly McCann and uh, Priscilla Gutierrez. We had the local fighter McCann. And uh, Cachoeira from uh, Brazil, uh, at the end of this one, it went McCann's way, and McCann refusing to shake hands at the end. Uh, that may have been the most interesting part of the fight. Well, how did you see this one? Well, it was, a, it was a good rebound fight from her debut. McCann uh, had a debut against Cillian Robertson uh, back in fight night 130 uh, last May, and she lost in the second round we're gonna, to a rear naked choke to Cillian Robertson in that fight, comes back and wins this, and... As for uh, um, Priscilla, uh, she's now eight and two. She's thirty years old. She's uh, she's now zero and two in the UFC. The first time she fought was um, for Valentina's uh, flyweight debut, and just got ran over. And so she's now zero and two inside the octagon. And uh, this was this 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 was a decent fight. It was a better fight, better matchup for her compared to Valentina Shevchenko. But it was a good win for Molly McCann. Moving right along, we had the Battle of the Dans, and this was in the last one. Dan Ige taking on Danny Henry. Uh, Henry getting choked out in a minute and 17 seconds. Ige taking out uh, the uh, opponent there in under two minutes. How would you see this one? Well, Ige was the guy that I was most looking forward to, him and uh, Arnold coming into this fight on the prelims. I think Ige is a really good fighter, and uh, it was very impressive, another um, good finish for him. He got a he got a finish against Mike Santiago at the Whitaker Romero uh, rematch card back in uh, last June in 50 seconds, and this one he gets it done in one minute and 17 seconds. And he came from the uh, the Contender Series, and in his first fight in the UFC off the Contender Series he actually lost the decision, but now it's pulled together three straight wins and. He's only 27 years old, and he he seems like a good addition to the featherweight division. I think I, I think we should keep an eye on Danny Ige, powerhouse for that division. Heading on up the card, uh, we had uh, what I would term an ugly fight, a, a rugged, grueling fight between Saparbek Safarov of uh, Dagestan, a Russian, and Nikolai Negumerino. Negumerino uh, from Romania. Negumerino known for his wrestling, but uh, didn't really get off on this one. So, so far off, uh maybe took some steam out of him by grabbing the fence at, in the early going uh, of the fight, lost the point, but uh, he did seem to dominate the uh, the latter going as well. How did you see this one? Well, this is uh, Safarov so uh, so was definitely very impressive and very gritty and was going forward, but he uh, he had a couple fence grabs and was doing some dirty things to the point where even Dan Hardy and the commentating crew was was yelling in frustration that they should have taken two points. And But, I mean, ultimately he did dominate this fight. He actually came into this fight. This was kind of a do-or-die type of scenario for him. He came in with the fight 0-2 in his uh, UFC tenure. He lost uh, a fight, his debut to Jean Vellante inside the IPM and lost to Tyson Pedro by Kimura in the first round. He got finished in both fights, so... This is a much needed win for him, and he he looked really good. And he's he's 32 years old, nine and two overall. He's now one and two in the UFC. So this is this is a hard uh, this is good this is a necessary win for him. And despite all the dirty tactics, he was he was impressive tonight. Yep, so some mean elbows 
Once he got to the mount uh, in the second round, really took the seam out of Nikolai in that one. Uh, as we go up the card, impressive work in the uh, lightweight division. Joseph Duffy, if I'm not mistaken, Joseph Duffy has a win over Conor McGregor early on in his record. He mm-hmm. faced off against Mark Diakisi. Uh, Diakisi out of London uh, with an African background, but uh, Duffy out of Ireland. So you had England versus Ireland. A little bit of a contentious uh, feud there as usual, uh, but Diakisi proving to be uh, superior in this one. His stand-up looking really good. Uh, his transition looking really good when he needed it, and uh, the bottom line is is he won a unanimous decision over Duffy by by a long while, in my estimation. Yeah, and 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 this was another. Di Casey still only twenty six years old, and he actually came in. A lot of people thought he was he was going to be the next big superstar of uh, this division. Came in, had three very impressive wins in his first. Uh, Three outings inside the octagon, went three and zero. But then he went on a three fight losing streak. He lost to Draker Close by decision, got submitted by Dan Hooker, and then lost to Nazra Hakaris in his last fight. So he was coming in here facing the potential of a fourth straight loss against a veteran, a very tough Irish veteran in Joe Duffy. And he he definitely outclassed him on the feet. Um, looked really good, and as you said, Joe Duffy does have a win over. Uh, Conor McGregor earlier in his, in his career and coming into this fight, his only two losses inside the octagon were to Dustin Poirier and James Vick. So he, he had a good, he had, he, had, he was actually, if I, if we would have done a weight rage on this, I would have probably picked Duffy to win this. But Di Casey pulls off a very much needed win, so props to him for that because he might have saved his career in the UFC going moving forward because he's so young. He was very emotional after the win too, and uh, you could tell he put the work in. Moving on up the card, we had Arnold Allen and Jordan Ronaldo. This match, to me, uh, both men kind of neutralized each other, and there wasn't a lot going on. Ronaldo got off Lex. Uh, Allen taking home the United decision victory. Yeah, it wasn't the most exciting fight, but Arnold uh, Allen, if, if we would have done a prospect of the week pick this week, we would have probably been Arnold Allen. He's uh, He was a hometown boy coming into this fight from Suffolk, England. And, uh, he's, he's got an overall 14 and 1 record. He's only 25 years old. And after this fight, he is now 5 and 0 inside the octagon. Um, he's got a couple, he's, but three of those wins have been by decision, but nevertheless, he's pulling off wins and he's a, he's another 145er. And we know that, uh, Max is moving up in weight and there's a lot of new contenders with guys like Gary Rodriguez and Alexander Volkanovsky that beat their Mag- uh, Magomed that are coming into this division, so there's some good talent on the horizon. I think Arnold Allen, now with a 5-0 and UFC record, I think that he'll probably be looking at a, at a ranked opponent next, and we'll see where he goes from here. But he, he's definitely young. He's got the look. He's got the name. And we need, we need to start seeing a little bit better performances by him. But he's got the record to back it up. So I think he's uh, I think he's only got, only got room for improvement. Well, we've been calling it the UFC in London. And uh, it's officially the UFC on ESPN Plus 5, and it also goes by the moniker UFC Fight Night 147. I've been joined by our MMA analyst, Devin Miller, here at the CRP to go over the first half of the card in a recap.